Good evening, everyone, and welcome to tonight's concert. My name is Gretchen Renshaw James, and I'm so proud to serve as the conductor of this, the Hendricks College Wind Ensemble. We are so thrilled that you're here tonight for this really cool concert, which we're calling Variations on America. Now, we're not actually playing the famous piece called Variations on America by Charles Ives. We'll save that for another show. But the idea behind this concert is that we're getting to connect with and learn from American composers who come from a wide variety of backgrounds and perspectives and also cut across the last hundred years or so of writing for the Wind Ensemble. So we began tonight with William Schumann, whose piece Chester is based on a tune by William Billings. And this tune is one that Billings wrote during the era of the American Revolution. So in a way, I thought it would be nice and fitting to start with a piece, a, a concert about American perspectives with music, with some music that actually comes from the very beginning, really, of, of our country, of America. And so from the sounds of the late 1700s, now we're gonna flash forward a few hundred years to the present day. And we are thrilled, so thrilled, to have with us a very special guest composer and conductor. Quinn Mason is an incredibly talented composer whose star is truly on the rise. I hope you'll get to read his full biography that's in the program, but I'll summarize by saying that his music is being played by major symphony orchestras and bands across the entire country. He continues to receive major commissions from these orchestras and goes around to guest conduct them. And so we are so lucky that he was able to stop here with us in, uh, in central Arkansas to join us tonight. Night. And so we're really thrilled that Quinn is going to lead the Wind Ensemble now on one of his very own pieces, Across a Golden Sky. And uh, if you would like to say a few words before the piece, so if you would please help me welcome Quinn Mason to the stage. Good evening. Thank you all for coming tonight. Uh, thank you for having me. Thank you especially to Dr. Renshaw for facilitating this whole thing. Uh, and thank you to the Hendricks College Wind Ensemble for being amazing to work with over the past, is it two days we've been working together? It feels like, you know, uh, yesterday. Actually, it was yesterday, so. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm very glad to be here with you all in uh, central Arkansas, which is actually not so bad. I've been in uh, weirder places like central Minnesota in December, so uh, it gets pretty cold up there. But um, this one of the pieces that I'd like to share with you tonight, it's a recent piece, it's from 2019, um, so the before times. It's called Across a Golden Sky, and it was actually written about if you've ever looked up at the sky near the evening time where you know it gets all golden you know it's really like a phenomena that can't be explained but it's really beautiful to look at and so I kind of wrote this piece to um, depict that that mysterious yet warm feeling we get when we see something like that that really only happens once in a while and there's actually, uh, the unique thing about this piece is that there is a section where um, I stop waving my arms and you will see me hold up numbers. And the band will be improvising kind of chords. And it's, it kind of represents the, um, you look up and you see these kind of patches of clouds happening. Um, and you, you really don't know what shapes you're gonna get. And so, you know, it's marked in the sheet music um, kind of freely. And we don't know what sounds we're gonna get. It's not gonna sound the same as the previous two rehearsals. So, you know, what you're gonna hear is probably the only time you're gonna hear it that way. So, uh, lucky y'all, huh? <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'm very happy to present with y'all Across a Golden Sky.
Well, now for something completely different, as they say. We're going to turn now to American composer. Well, of course, he's an American composer. Everybody's an American composer on this program tonight. Um, but Leonard Bernstein, whom I bet many of you know from the music of West Side Story. Yes, anyone heard of West Side Story in this room? Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> so Bernstein, as you may know, was this rare combination of a world-class composer, a conductor, and a concert pianist. He was also a fabulous music educator and a humanitarian. So uh, we are really, really thrilled to get to share with you some music from an operetta he wrote called Candide. The show itself was not especially well received at its, uh, you know, its inception, but over the years it has become well loved. The music has always been well loved. And um, well, because it's an opera or operetta, the story is extremely complicated. So for now, I'll just summarize it to say, that in this story, the characters go from extreme optimism at the beginning, which you'll hear in our first movement, the best of all possible worlds, to despair, and then finally to a place of hope through the idea of cultivating the earth, which we'll reach in the final movement with Make Our Garden Grow. So we hope you enjoy the Candide Suite by one of America's master composers, Leonard Bernstein.
We now have a really special opportunity to share with you the world premiere of a brand new piece that Quinn Mason has written specifically for us. This is called Ascend de Notre Dame. I'm gonna invite him out here in a moment to tell you a little bit more about the piece. But what I wanna make sure you know is that this piece was commissioned by us, by the Hendricks College Wind Ensemble through the Nancy and Craig Wood Odyssey Professorship, which I currently hold. And so I'm so excited that we're gonna to get to share this incredible experience with you, the first time this piece has ever been heard by a live audience. And to uh, set us up for it, I'd like to welcome the composer, Quinn Mason, to the stage to tell us a little bit more about it. So please welcome Quinn. Hi again. I hope you all are enjoying the concert. Isn't this wind ensemble fantastic? I certainly think so too. And now I have a second piece to present for y'all. I'm gonna sit right there and I'm gonna listen to it. I'm not gonna conduct it this time. So that's the, that's the beauty of this profession. Um, this piece is called Scene de Notre Dame. And uh, just have a question. How many of you remember when the Notre Dame Cathedral burned down a few years ago? Now, do you remember the feeling you got when you were just watching that on the news? And wasn't it a feeling of, and that's like 1,400 or so years of human history just on fire. And it was pretty tragic to witness almost. But then uh, as I was looking at that, I was thinking about like, Thousands, maybe even millions of people have worshipped there over the course of a thousand years. And, you know, it's no telling how many people have heard that magnificent organ in there, which actually was okay, thank goodness. And so this piece that um, I wrote is basically looking back at kind of uh, not, not so much feelings of the fire, but looking back at all the, the kind of the musical lineage of a cathedral like that. So you'll hear things that sound like a choir, you'll, you'll hear things that sound like chants, and it's mostly a big expansive piece that, you know, because it's a big expansive place. And so, you know, and even the title, Scene de Notre Dame, Scene of Notre Dame. So this is, just imagine Notre Dame throughout its entire a thousand year history as you listen to this piece. Enjoy.
Before we close our program tonight, I want to thank you again for joining us this evening. And I want to also say a special thank you to all of the members of the Wind Ensemble. So the folks you see in front of you represent a tremendous diversity of interests, majors, and even professions. And we are brought together by the power of music making. And so these folks carve out three and a half hours every week from their busy lives, from their labs, from their research projects, from their papers to come together to build community, to make music. And I'm so thrilled that all of these folks are just willing to do that, to come together and do this. So will you please join me in recognizing the incredible efforts and dedication of the Hendrix Wind Ensemble. And I would love to thank one more time our really tremendous special guest composer and conductor Quinn Mason. So this last piece, it's from the present day, but only kind of. So it's called the Steampunk Suite. Have any of y'all heard of Steampunk before? Okay, we have a few takers. Okay, my husband, because I've told him about it. Uh, <laughs> so, that, so for those of you who don't know, oh, and we have Captain Steampunk in the band back there. We've discovered that Daniel Koontz in the trumpet section is a huge fan of Steampunk. Wave, Daniel. <laughs> So steampunk, for those of you who don't know, is a subgenre of science fiction and fantasy that incorporates technology and aesthetic designs inspired by the 19th century industrial steam-powered machinery. Now, it's really convenient that 500 yards, 500 yards behind the back door of Staples, the train comes by every so often. And I'm really hoping for poetic justice that sometime in the next five minutes, it decides to come by. <laughs> but. It only comes by during the slow, soft pieces, so we've probably already missed it. Anyway, uh, the composer is Erica Svano, and she wrote this piece to depict various scenes that take place in this kind of fictional alternate history, which is centered in the Victorian era. So we're really excited to share with you the final movement from this piece, which is called Barnum and Tesla's Tandem Bicycle. Thanks again so much for coming tonight, and we really hope you enjoyed the concert. Please enjoy our last tune.
Thank you.